had a request to do uh, Sarah Armstrong's Patty and the Turnpike based on this video of Adam Hurt and Emily, I don't know her last name, unfortunately, playing at Cliff Top yeah, from 2016. Um, I've been spending time with this and um, decided to play along with it for a little while and then we'll break it down. It's a high part, low part, and um, it starts on the high. So we're going to start there and we're going to play along with it for a little bit, break up in sections, see if we can't um, try to learn it. So, um, yeah, let's play along for a few bars and we'll go from there. on the high part then because that seems to be a more complicated part um it's really not that bad uh one drop thumb um and a little bit of double thumb but it's really not that bad so let's play it just the high part a few times and then we'll um kind of show what you're doing or, or describe so i'm doing a start straight off no leading into it on this g note on this uh fifth fret so you're gonna have to move your whole hand up it's just got to happen um and it's gonna go slide directly up to uh, that a so it's gonna say so slide diddy bum diddy and then it's the double thumb on the nine seven Five to seven slide and then a ditty. Bum ditty. This is your double thumb. Five, ditty, seven. Kind of a double thumb there. Yeah. on the 
two and a pull off on the three on your B string. So the two is on your E string, oh, you're, sorry, on your D string, and um, the three is on your B string, so. part of the high part. The second part of the high part follows very so, very closely with that. Uh, just one minor difference, and this is where you're going to find your uh, your first drop thumb, some of the thumb of the song. So you still slide five to seven. So you don't come back up when you get down to that, when you go down to the, to the fifth fret, you don't come back up at all on the second part of the high part. Um, so it would be slide, diddy dum, diddy double thumb, double thumb, dum, diddy dum, dum, diddy dum, drop thumb, and that's G string, um, second fret, boom, and then just pull it off or or hit and open. Um, so second part of the high. Let's do the high part all together. So then we'll move on to the low part. Pretty simple, um, kind of, it's gonna have a chord shape in it, it's gonna have a C chord shape in it. Um, and I do pull-offs on that chord shape while keeping that down. So I'll do pull-offs on the, um, with my ring finger on that. She'll see that. So let's play that a couple times and then we'll break it down. So it's. G note or G string. Diddy, slide up to four. Boom, diddy, pull off. Diddy, pull off. Diddy. Those pull offs are actually just the notes in your D chord. I'm just not playing the chord. Um, so, or two of the notes in the D chord. So it's the third fret on the B string and it's the second fret on the G string. So when I go hammer on. Pull off, pull off. That's the third fret on the B string, and the second fret on the um, G string. And then I just hit the C chord. I kind of hammer that on too. So. so that right there, 
all together is. two to five, because I do. You can probably get away with like a four to five slide if that's easier, but I go to the... And that little lick is two to five. Diddy, pull off, diddy, drop, dum, dum, dum. You should be kind of familiar with that. I guess you could also do that. You could just come up to that G and you just go... Instead of the slide. So maybe we do that. Maybe we go. However you want to do it. So we can do it both ways. Um, yeah, let's practice that a little bit. Let's, it's just that. You do that twice. So it's no... It's no big deal there, so it's... Start on the high part, like the video does, and we'll go from there, okay? Um.